This is Danny Moran here covering Oregon State football spring practice. Gina Mizell is not here. She's up in Seattle covering the Oregon State women's basketball teams. If you go over to OregonLive.com slash Beavers, you'll see plenty of updates there where the women will be in the semifinals. From here, uh, to the first scrimmage of Oregon State's spring football schedule. There will be another one before spring, uh, the spring game at Reeser Stadium, which is in two weeks. No word yet on when that second scrimmage will be. And the thing that probably most people want to hear about are quarterbacks. As of right now, there's no real update. Reps are pretty evenly distributed between three front runners that'd be Jake Luton, Marcus McMurray, and Daryl Garrettson. I'd say Luton had at least you know a couple of the best throws that we saw today. Gary Anderson said afterwards there's still no specific time frame for naming a starter. I imagine they'll dissect you know this film and next week in practice if there's any kind of shift in reps or who's primarily going with the first team we'll make sure to update you but like I said it was pretty even between first team second team for all those guys, Luton had a 37-yard touchdown pass to Hunter Jarman over Xavier Crawford, so the best returning cornerback for Oregon State. That was probably the offensive highlight of the day, just to see Luton with his pretty quick decision-making. He's obviously at 6'6", 6'7", has a very quick release too, so it looks like he may have the most potential of the guys who have gone to this point, but like I said, still no real update in that race. Defensive highlights, I'd say Christian Wallace, the redshirt freshman cornerback obviously a four-star recruit wasn't able to play last year due to academic issues but he's looked really good you know, at certain points in this in the spring i know they'll say that he's still coming along as far as learning the defense and that's probably true but maybe the, one of the better defensive plays that we saw was him and a fellow freshman isaiah hodgins both big guys both four-star recruits going up for a pass this was from luton a jump ball a 50 50 ball that was well placed in hodgins kind of bread basket that Wallace then came away with with an interception, the lone interception that Luton threw today. So uh, other offensive updates, no Ryan Nall today, very limited carries for Artavis Pierce. They're really letting those running backs rest and really know what they have and are just trying to build depth with that running back core. So a lot of Jalen Bailey, according to his official stats, nine carries for 70 yards. Kieran Yancey, all five foot five of him, broke out for a big run, maybe about 65 yards. That was not picked up on the stat sheet, so he had technically 11 carries for 37 yards. And the offensive line, I think, is a you know probably one of the bigger pieces that we're looking at for this spring with Sumner Houston converting to center, Yanni Demogerantis also in that mix. I'd say Yanni got more reps than Sumner Houston, obviously converted from the defensive line. TJ Wood said after practice that Houston, he's starting to get it, but technique-wise, still not there, still developing, which is probably what you'd expect from somebody who's switching positions at this point. So not a ton of newsworthy items, maybe the one injury news. Uh, I saw Timmy Hernandez, the wide receiver uh, in the slot, walk off with an injury. He wasn't participating in the final half of the spring practice or so, but so we'll kind of keep tabs on what his status is. But for the most part, kind of just a, a typical day, you know, in the scrimmage here in the rain. We'll keep you updated at OregonLive.com slash Beavers on if there's any more updates for when that next scrimmage will be, if it will be open to the public. And then obviously two weeks from today will be the spring game. So until then, I'm Danny Moran.